Hey guys, and welcome to the next part of this series where we're going to be making the modals for our portfolio section here. So uh, I'm doing this part a little bit differently than what I've been doing in the recent history of my channel where what I'm gonna be doing is actually releasing all four parts of these so you can see all four of them today. I tried to make them into smaller videos to make them a little bit more digestible even though the CSS one will be kind of long still. Um, and what we're gonna be looking at how to do is now that we have these to make a modal that when we click opens up the modal, we get a nice little portfolio thing there we can close it off we can come and open the next one and get the next one as well um, now the thing is I didn't actually have to use CSS grid to make these so this is really more of just uh, we're gonna put it together style it so we have these images here that go full size uh, then I have some images that are pull left and pull right uh, and of course this part right here, we have a nice little close button so we can open up the portfolio item on open. And I also push escape on my keyboard to close it out. So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing over the next four videos. And yeah, let's jump right into it and see how I did this. All right, so I'm just gonna scroll down to where it should be showing up. Um, so I'm gonna come and find my portfolio stuff here. You might have seen other sites that do things a little bit differently for this type of thing. I'm not going to be building my modals somewhere else. I'm actually building my modals inside of my portfolio item. I think it leads to simpler uh, JavaScript. So uh, what I'm going to do is in here, after my fig caption, we're gonna add a div. Uh, I'm gonna do a div of portfolio modal. So this will be my modal. And I'm actually gonna put a little comment here just to make life a little easier to track of, uh, keep track of, which would be portfolio modal one okay so um and maybe space it out a little more and i'm even going to do a whoops not what i wanted uh close close modal just because we're gonna have quite a bit of markup in here and i want to make sure that it is nicely organized so the first thing that i'm going to put in here i'm going to sort of structure it let's uh, actually open the design here um, so we're going to have it looking something like this. One thing I am going to change is it won't have the fonts what we see here are going to translate over here. So it's actually going to look pretty similar uh, here and here. I don't know why I did that. This is just really bad on my part. And the fact that I didn't catch it when I did it bothers me a lot. Um, so when we click, it's going to, we're going to get a pop-up that looks something like that. So I'm going to have a header here. It's going to have a background image on it and then this text box with our text in it. And then down here, it's relatively simple. I'm going to show a neat trick we can do to have full width images though um, that break outside of containers. So uh, let's get started on that. So we have a big background image. We have this with our text inside. Uh, and actually, I think I'm going to leave that up on screen while I'm working. And just bring it down. I'm only worrying about this top part right now anyway. So in my modal, I'm going to have, I'm going to do another div that's going to have my background image on it. So I'm going to do a portfolio title box, maybe not the best name in the world. And in there we'll have a port h2 portfolio portfolio title. And I'm actually taking the same class name that I used here and here because I want them to look the same. So I think that makes a lot of sense. There we go. Uh, so this will just be the same thing, project name. And then I need a new line here. This will be my paragraph. This time I'm gonna give it a different thing though. We're gonna call this one a portfolio subtitle. And subtitle goes here. And I'm gonna save that. Now remember, I'm not looking to make it look like this, so. Um, the default on this might actually be okay. You can see that's actually showing up right here right now. So it's underneath the, the image, which is what I'd sort of expect. Once we get into the CSS, that will all get nicely fixed up. So once we get outside of, oh, I didn't even, I have my title box. I forgot to do my uh, header. So I'm gonna do a portfolio header. So portfolio header, and that will close right here. Whoops. And I can, so I have my header that has a title box and the title and the subtitle. So this is my header with the image in it. Then this here is my title box. And then I have my H1 and my subtitle right there. 
So here, just to stay a bit more organized, because I mentioned there'll be a lot, this is close uh, portfolio header. And then we need to have the content itself. So we can just do a div class equals portfolio content, because I think that makes sense. And close my content. Um, I have some text saved off screen here, so I'm just gonna grab that because it's helped go a little bit faster. Um, paste that in. So this is just a long paragraph. So we can put our image in here, so I'm just gonna do it like this. Um, so my image is, I'm just gonna use the same one I've been using this whole time, uh, image and portfolio onejpeg and an image. Um, I'm gonna give this one a class though, because I want this one to be the full width image. So I will give it a class equals, I'll call it a portfolio full width. Uh, and I'm also gonna have a pull right and pull left one. So let's take this, copy, let's just see how I did this. I had one paragraph, one paragraph. So we'll just, I think I might do, whoops, sorry. Um, I'm gonna do another paragraph. Let's just do two of those. Then I'm gonna take this image again, copy, paste, and take all of that. It's gonna make a really long one, but it's because I wanna put a whole bunch of stuff in here. Okay, so that is pretty much the content done. Um, I'm gonna have a full width, I'm gonna have a portfolio pull left, because I have an image that's gonna pull to the left, and I'm gonna have an image pull right. Um, and just to show you what uh, I'm even talking about with those, it's when we go to the full screen version of this, we'll get there in a second, zoom out. Um, here you can see I'm gonna have, well, I did pull right, pull left, but I'm gonna be bringing in my images, um, so I have a full width one that's gonna stretch the whole size, and then I'm going to have these ones which are pulling to the right and pulling to the left. Um, but when we're on the mobile display, they won't pull, they're just gonna take up the full space, because if not, I think they'll get a little bit too tiny. Um, so if I save that now, that gives us just this big long thing that looks like that, and my images didn't come in, why not? Did I make a mistake with my images? Obviously I did. Oh, I think this was zero one, right? Save, there we go, my images are in there now. All right, cool, good. So now that that's done, we can jump over to the CSS, which is in the next video. I look forward to seeing you there.